It's this time of the season. You guys are all aching. You want to get out. You're getting your kit ready. The salmon addiction is taking over. And obviously, if you haven't done it already, your rods might be sorted out. Your reels got a little bit of grease to get going. And then the next big question is the confusing world of the right line. You can take a phenomenal rod and ruin it with a terrible line. Vice versa, you can take a terrible rod, ideally not, uh, and combine it with a good line and you can send it across. We're sitting here on the banks of the Tyne River in Northumberland, that's on the border to Scotland in the north of England. Uh, the spring salmon fishing season has started actually in February, but now it's about to get good. And to my right, you have Sim Stromhult from Nextcast Europe. You've already uh, seen him in some of the CND videos before. And we talk about one of the most confusing factors, not only for salmon anglers, but for fly fishermen alike. There's an endless array of lines. Very few lines make a significant difference. We got to try the next cast lines since last fall and we will shed some light on the brand next cast here for you guys. So Simon, these lines, when you gave me the first batch, the first thing I've noticed out of the package, yep. they feel different. Yep. Yeah, and the difference really comes into play when you grab them in the shop, obviously a shooting head doesn't really do justice, but out on the water, the stiffness and the material composition that you guys have cooked up in a factory in the States does result in a better energy transmission of the fly and a better turnover. I think so. Well, we have a small factory in the States. Uh, Simon Shea, the brainchild of Nextcast, is the one to ha that has it. And that allows us to test different type of materials on different lines. So we try to always develop. Yeah, so Nextcast has been on the market for quite long. It's been a huge success in Scandinavia, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, it seems like the European anglers also now try to to test them out. And yeah, well, as I say, it's all about line design, you know? Mm -hmm. We do some things a bit different than other brands. I won't probably mention all that here because uh, already some people have tried to make similar lines, but yeah, uh, don't think that's so easy. So <laughs> they are quite unique. They are indeed, yeah, they are indeed. The one very important thing that I've noticed, and this has something to do with the composition of the material that you used around the core. So as far as material is concerned, what is the significant difference of these lines compared to other competitors? Well, I don't want to speak a lot about other competitors and, and big differences, but I think the most important thing is just that since we're a small factory, mm -hmm. we can play around a lot to test things. And that kind of makes that we find those unique things that works. Yeah. And uh, I think that we also do something very good because we don't use a lot of back taper on the, on the lines. I feel that that's not important at all because you just want to feel the line directly. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a special taper and it's of course designing a line is not easy if you want a perfect one. That's right. So that's right. The coating that you guys use feels out of the box stiff. And uh, we've already said it helped me in my fishing for better energy transmission all the way to the tip. So each and every single cast lands with a straight tip, with a straight leader. Yeah. That is good. Um, what is the, is there something you can say about the material that you guys have used? Well, uh, we have different in the different, uh, for example, sinking lines comes yep. with the PU coating now. Right. That's new for this year. So basically that means because when you're fishing a sinking line, often you get stuck mm -hmm. and these things. So you can just, if I do this and I, with my nail, all I can, you will you not have a yeah. mark. So, so they, and the floating lines is different, but it, that's a mix that is kind of special. So I don't want to secret. say it. Yeah, it's a secret weapon. The fairy yeah. tale does the, the secret stuff. That's yeah. good, that's good. It's important to keep secret these days. Yeah. So this is uh, what Simon Shea, the brainchild of Nextcast, is, is just a genius when it comes to these things. It's testing so we just can have perfect lines. So material compositions entirely catered and tailored for your fishing experience depending on the conditions. Absolutely. That's good. Um, a quick overview for the guys out there. You guys have lines from single-handed rod trout stuff 
all the way up to the big sticks? Well, now we have, I would say we have the next cast crowd that is for single-handed 10 foot 7, 10 foot 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all the way up to competition uh, rods. Yeah. Right. So we, we have everything and we have 350 unique products wow. in our line, line range. So I think probably that is the most in the world when it okay. comes to salmon lines. And, yeah, two when, you, lines. when you had to recommend products for someone coming into the shop that wants a multi-tip line, yeah. what would you start with? Two different options. I would go for either uh, Nextcast Salar Finder 40. Mm -hmm. It's not too long. We have one that's a bit longer also. Or the Nextcast Zone. You will buy a floating uh, belly or a float sink one and some interchangeable tips. So when you're coming into ADH, the website, there will be videos that shows the different tips that suits the different lines. Between the two lines that you just mentioned lengthwise, what, what length are we talking about in average for those, for those shooting heads? Uh, well, it depends if it's a class 7, 8, we are down to 10, 10 and a half meters mm -hmm. and the longest one on the, would be the zone that would be with the tip 13 meters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So these lines, unlike uh, many other lines, are uh, <clears throat> produced in one factory in the United States. It's produced in the United States. All our lines are produced in the States, yeah. Okay. And it's a factory that only you guys utilize. So it's yeah. not an OEM product made by any other brand that's just for you so you can work your fairy tale dust. That's correct. I think it's important to say also that in the back that's end, right. they are ID'd with which line it is and which sinking rate it is. Yeah. Yeah. And the same where we have tip system also and they are ID marked just the same way. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah this is it. I mean, if you have been doing this for a while, you probably have a collection of a lot of shooting heads. And this little line ID, as simple as it is, a lot of people still don't do it. There's nothing more frustrating than looking into a shooting head wallet and you don't know what it is. And if you see here, uh, Stefan, that it's not printer marked, so yeah. it won't go away. It's actually a paper stick and then the loop is over. So right. you will never lose it. It will, won't go off when you have been using the line for one week. So they age well. And you can tell uh, three years from now, that it's still the same good line that you've used and you caught that fish on. So from the whole array, if you give the lines a quick rundown for, let's say, the European purpose and need of our anglers, what would you recommend from small to big? Well, if a fish likes small to medium-sized river, for mm -hmm. example, I would go for a next cast Salar Finder 40 or next cast um, Zone, it's perfect. You could also use the next cast Core in tight, uh, tight conditions. That's, that's, a, per, that's a gadget head. That's a gadget, gadget head, like yeah. Mm -hmm. We had two different ones there. One very, very short and one a bit longer. Um, if you're on like a big river system, I would try the next year Sailor Finder 45. That's the one that we tried yesterday in the yeah, 14.6. Yeah. yeah. That is a tremendous line if you want to poach the other bank. Yeah, absolutely. That's just, and it's really good if you want just to improve your casting also. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's a cool line. Uh, if you're fishing single handed rods, Try the next cast trout because it's a very short head, but you can use T tips on it or big flies. So you can actually fish sinking lines with a single handed with mm -hmm. big flies. That's cool. And uh, if you're out and you're fishing big rivers uh, on early fishing, for example, salmon, I would either do the core lines with T18 tips or something. I would use a zone sink 57 or the single pieces in both Sailor Finder 40 and 45. Yeah. Very, very good. So uh, one line that we've casted yesterday on the eight weight uh, that everybody seemed to like a lot. What was that? Just for oh, a yeah, private yeah. recommendation? That's a single piece line, a Sailor Finder 40 H12. So the single pieces tend to be even more stable in the air. Mm -hmm. That's like you have to make some compromises when using a tip system or a single piece. But yeah, sure. I love those. Perfect. And yeah. another thing that we forgot to mention that is actually very, very important. You guys have a really cool running line. Absolutely, that's new for this year. Well, it just seems to work very well. You just stretch it one time, it's level, it's round. Mm -hmm. So uh, you won't get those wounds on it. And the same way as a lot of running lines I've been testing, I feel it's really doing something because it's important that you have a shooting line that kind of goes with your shooting head system. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So the one thing I've noticed using this line is, first of all, it floats which is a really, really important factor. Uh, it sits higher in the water column, so when you reset your cast, sweep around, get your anchor, you don't have to rip all of that line from different water columns that will slow your cast down. Yeah. I find that the line has enough profile to slow 
the line down and force it to turn over. Yep. It's very easy to handle. It's also bright orange. It looks very cool. So not only do these lines perfectly complement the CND rods, they are also a very good universal weapon. Dig into this. There will be a lot of information on the website about how to combine them because we know how it is with new line systems. It's a new little parallel universe and we have to dig into this very interesting line um, used by fishermen around the world, now available in Europe. Cool thing, great addition to you, incredible variety of lines you set. And again, like most of the stuff, uh, salmon fishing concerned, cool to see it on a website in the shop, but try it out on the water. Yeah, well, salmon season is coming up, so try them out. Yeah, we got to get going because it feels fishy, guys. Yeah. <laughs>